Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day slash week in my life. Now today, I'm bringing you along like usual for all of the things that we've been doing around our little homestead in the foothills. I'm showing you a lot of food. I brought you along for what I eat in a day actually. Also casual, but it was Logan's second birthday. So I wanted to share some moments from that. And I'm continuing forward on the never ending project of painting our cabinets. Also, I wanna give a special shout out to my patrons. If you haven't checked out my Patreon and you didn't know this, I upload exclusive content over there. And if you become a patron, you have access to my entire library of videos, as well as the exclusive videos that I'm uploading in the future. Someone asked me about that. So yes, you have access to the full library of videos. And thank you to all of you who are supporting my work in this way. It means so much, you already know that, but I just wanted to say it. So with all of that being said, let's hop right in. So there's a lot of food in this video, which is ironic because I've actually been struggling with a lot of nausea for the last like month and a half, but I continued to try to cook past it. The nausea would come and go. And on this day, Dan made his famous, which isn't really his, it's someone else's recipe that I will try to remember to link down below, but his famous saucy posse. You've seen this in videos before recently, and that's because all of us like it. And there have just been many times where Dan has been cooking lately. So on this night, he cooked that up for us to eat. This recipe is like truly delicious and I highly recommend it. I would definitely call it a crowd pleaser. Okay, so I just wanted to drop these clips in real quick. On this night, my sister actually performed with her friend at the Sawmill Grill. So my mom and I went down, ordered some food, hung out, and just watched them perform. So this is currently Logan's thing, jumping off the bed and landing on us. He thinks it's hilarious. It's actually kind of painful, but I filmed this because I figured out that if I protect myself in pillows, <laughs> it's way more fun had by everyone involved. Just more safe. <laughs> So we took a walk on this afternoon and don't worry, I spotted wildlife for you guys. Seriously though, we love looking at all of the animals as we walk around our neighborhood. We've never been surrounded by so much wildlife and we feel really blessed and lucky to be able to just point and be like, look, a turkey, wow, a deer, or in that case, a squirrel. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, like a decade, you remember, I've said forever, that like walks are one of my favorite things and we've lived in so many different neighborhoods and now we have a baby and I still love walks. That's the karma. It's just sweet to think back on how you know, life has changed and evolved. Okay, so I really am gonna try to find the video where I made my french fries, but I made some on this night and I started off by boiling my fries and then I looked out the window and this footage is fast forwarding obviously as the moon is moving across the sky, but it was just so beautiful. I had to film it for you guys. It really is this simple, but once the fries were boiled for like seven minutes and then they cooled down, I put my spices on top of them and a hefty amount of olive oil 
and then I baked them in the oven at 420 for like 30 minutes then I pulled out these crispy chicken breast tenders and I threw them in our air fryer to make a chicken wrap so I pulled out these Ezekiel tortillas and I turned the rest of our sour cream into like kind of a lemon cilantro creamy topping for the wraps by the way I tossed the fries about halfway through because I just felt like doing that baby wanted to say hi <laughs> And then these are the ingredients that I used to construct my chicken wrap. I did have a pickle on the side and also some pomegranates. And I ended up taking all of this to go with me that night to Bible study. And it was a decent to go meal. Like I mentioned, my appetite's been kind of funky, so it didn't exactly hit the spot, but it was good. <laughs> So I actually think this was the morning of Logan's birthday. So I decided to fry up some eggs and cut up a pear. And then I scooped some yogurt and raw honey on the side, as well as some sourdough with butter. And everyone was pretty pleased with the breakfast. And then we are jumping ahead to that night for dinner. Now, I baked a pecan pie for Logan's family pizza party, and it wouldn't be a pizza party without pizza. So my parents picked up pizza from a local place called Wondercrest. Then our family members from different states actually FaceTimed in. It was a very modern birthday party, <laughs> and we sung happy birthday to him, which hyped him up because he knows that song and was looking forward to it. We had delicious pie. I had to throw that in there. My pie was so good. And then Logan opened all of his gifts, which he was extremely excited about. By the way, just throwing this out there, at this point, I started getting sick. So I like barely made it through present time without falling asleep, but it was such a sweet and cute night celebrating our baby and just watching him be so excited about us celebrating him. It was great. <laughs> Now the next morning, there was a lot of mess because I had gone straight to sleep that night and slept for like 14 hours. Dan was starting to get sick too, so he slept quite a bit as well. And when we woke up, we picked up a little bit and then I made breakfast, which consisted of fried eggs, sourdough toast, and oranges. Oh, and some iced tea. This actually might've been like two days later because I'm remembering we were super sick the next day but my sister was not able to make the FaceTime the night that we opened gifts. So Logie and her caught up on a FaceTime call. It was really sweet. So I had this squash that was on the verge of like beginning to go bad. So I decided to cook it up. So I cut it in half and I believe this is a honeydew delicata squash by the way. So I cut it in half, scooped out the seeds and then cut each half into discs. And then I heated up some chicken noodle soup from our local grocery store in the pot. And while that was heating, I tossed the squash in some coconut oil, and then I added some garlic and paprika and salt. And while I was cooking, Logan was playing with one of his birthday gifts and having a grand old time. <laughs> So 
So I literally can't believe we're back here again with me making more eggs for breakfast. Didn't realize I caught so much egg footage, guys. But at the same time, I feel like it gives you good insight into what my regular breakfasts have been lately. I've been buying these eggs from Costco recently and their yolks are actually surprisingly dark and orange. We had some leftover bacon in the fridge that I pulled out. And then also I got this honey recently. It's organic, raw, unfiltered white honey. I scooped that on top of this raw yogurt. And then I just scooped it into a bowl together to dip our pears into. And then I pulled my iced tea that I had actually made the day before out of the fridge, poured it over some ice, and then we just sat down and enjoyed our food together. So, like I mentioned, we're moving on with the project that never ends. And so on this day, I decided to smooth out my blanket and reorganize my cupboards down flat to paint the first coat. Now, once I had laid them all out, I had to step aside and get some more iced tea because I needed a beverage to accompany me. And this is the iced tea from a local coffee shop called Inland Cafe and Tea, by the way. It's so good. And since I had stepped aside to pour my tea anyways, I decided to throw this chicken in the crock pot to make for chicken tacos. Now, this is actually a recipe I got from one of Kristen Cavallari's cookbooks. I don't remember which one, but it's super tasty. Now, the one thing I will say ahead of time is I tried to like speed the process up by doing the high setting, which was an option she gave in the book, but I definitely turned it on too soon, so the bottom cooked too fast, and I just think all around this would have been better if I had done the slow cooker setting, which is the whole point of a crock pot. Otherwise, I should have done it in the instant pot. But that sat and cooked, and I don't want to totally like slam it because even though I kind of messed up the chicken, the tacos were still good, and you will see that. So while that cooked, I finally started painting color. So many of you guys have been asking me what color we wanted to go with. And because our counters were dark, we just decided we wanted to go with lighter cupboards. But I didn't want to do white. I didn't want the complete contrast of the black and the white. I wanted something warmer. And in the beginning, I kind of thought, oh, I don't want it to be yellow, which is something that people will kind of complain about when they go with lighter toned cupboards or even with chalk paint sometimes. But the more I thought about it and as I was looking at Pinterest pictures, I was like, I don't think I mind. I kind of think it'll bring some warmth to the space and I'm picturing all my plants everywhere, God willing. And I just think this is actually going to be perfect. And it kind of is a little taupey in some lights, depending on you know how you're looking at it, what time of day. Um, but the name of the color is called Drop Cloth by the brand Dixie Bell Chalk Paint. And I I'm really kind of feeling good about it already. It's all going to be very interesting when it's completed to see like, does it even look good? Does it last? All of that. But every step that we're making forward, especially towards the finished product, I am getting very excited. And you saw my mom come in. She was chiming in with very positive things. She was saying that she thought it looked really great. So yeah, we're moving forward, guys. I wanted to make some guacamole because I found two ripe avocados at the grocery store and I just really wanted to eat them and use them right away. So I put those in the bowl with lemon juice and lots of chopped up fresh cilantro. And then I diced up a little bit of purple onion.
And then that was our taco situation. And it was really good, even with the chicken not being done like exactly how I would have wanted it, it still was really tasty. And then I pulled one of my frozen chocolate chip cookies out of the fridge and got a really beautiful shot. <laughs> no, I just wanted to tell you though, because it was so good. So even though we live in our house now, I feel like we're still kind of living the camping out life a little bit because of the kitchen situation and just not being fully settled in. And so now you have all of my excuses as to why we were eating frozen pizza for dinner on this night. It was actually really good. And those of you that have you know, moved in your adult life or had renovations, I know you know that sometimes a good old pizza just comes in handy in the middle of all of the moving renovation chaos. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts or requests or questions or just say, hey, let me know you're here. And with all of that being said, I will, God willing, see you guys back here soon with another new video. Bye, guys.